Cornell Cooperative Extension of Orange County presents Welcome back to Cat Science, presented by Orange County, New York, 4-H. My name is Maggie Smith, and I'm your Animal Science Program Manager. And today's lesson is all about neutering and spaying. So, what is neutering and spaying? Neutering and spaying is the removal of reproductive organs. The surgeries are always performed at a vet's office and under anesthesia. Depending on the procedure, the animal need to have, may need to have stitches removed after a few days. The purpose of neutering and spaying is to stop the ability to reproduce. So what does that mean for cats? It's to stop or help not create kittens. Neutering and spaying is typically done around four months of age. We know that Pollo is exactly five months and he's ready to go. Because Pollo is a male, he will be neutered. A female is always spayed. As you can see from our pictures, when we told Pollo what was going on, he was a little concerned, but nothing to fret about. So something that we really stress is to make sure that your cat is comfortable with the carrier in case something happens or when they go to the vet. So as you can see, Pollo loves his carrier and we keep it open at all times so he can choose to sleep in it so he knows it's a safe space. Okay. All right, Riley, so what just happened? So we just took him a bath and clipped his nails. Okay. Because he's going to get fixed tomorrow. All right, and what would you use to clip his nails? This. Yep, and you were really careful about his quick, right? Yeah, but I didn't clip them. Mm -hmm. I clipped him, right? Yeah. Not ready yet. Okay, so we're just going to dry Pollo off, get him all nice and clean. Yeah. He cannot and, eat oh, after Poyo. 10 no. p.m. tomorrow. No, you won't nope, I'm sorry. He cannot work. eat after 10 p.m. tonight. Yeah. And then he gets fixed and dropped off at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So we'll keep you tuned. Before your animal goes to the vet and before Pollo went to the vet, we wanted to make sure they were nice and clean because they will not be able to have a bath for up to 10 days or more, depending upon if they have sutures or stitches or even dissolvable stitches. So the before is what we did was we bathed Pollo, he got a nice blow drying, then we brushed him, we clipped his nails, we cleaned his ears, we cleaned his eyes, and we worked on transportation. We know that you can't just put a cat in the car like a dog, so we have to put Pollo in a carrier. So neutering, let's get down to what neutering is. Neutering is the removal of the testicles in a male dog or a cat. So how is this done? You'll make the appointment with your vet. Then the vet will ask you to withhold food for the evening prior. Pollo could not have food starting at 10 p.m. the day before. Then you bring your animal into the vet's office. They will administer a general anesthetic to put them nice to sleep. Then they will remove most of his testes through a small incision in the scrotum. Usually your kitten will be able to return home the same day. And that's exactly what happened. But the catch is, now we have to keep Pollo nice and calm and quiet for seven full days for recovery. Even though he wants to bounce around, we have to limit activity. So now that we know what neutering is, let's get into what spaying is. So spaying, again, refers to the removal of the reproductive organs in a female cat. So how is it done? It's the same process. You'll make the appointment with your vet. Your vet will tell you to withhold food the night prior. Then you'll bring your animal to the vet and they will give the animal a general anesthetic. For females, they will then shave the fur at the site of the incision. Then they will surgically remove the reproductive organs through the incision made on the flank or the belly of the cat. For females, the recovery time is a little longer because the vet could give them sutures, stitches that need to be removed or dissolvable stitches. Again, your female cat will now not be able to reproduce but also cannot have a bath for up to 10 days. Trying to keep a kitten calm is a challenge, but we know that spaying and neutering is important for the welfare of our cats, so it's a challenge that we're up to. So why is it so important? Neutering and spaying helps with pet issues. 
For males, they do something called spray over a large area and it helps mark their territory. So this is a very pungent smell that can be left around your house. That's something that you might not wanna to have to deal with. Also, health issues. This helps in fighting or spreading diseases carried in cats like VIF and feline V. Again, it helps with population control. So there is no reproduction and no unwanted litters of kittens. This also enables you to have the ability of both multiple male, multiple female, or mixed genders of cats or dogs in your house without having litters. So the numbers are still out, but so you know, a cat, an, altered, an unaltered female, can produce three to four litters a year with the average litter size of four to six kittens. So a single unspayed female cat, as well as all of her offspring, can reproduce up to the max number they're talking about is 400,000. That's a lot of cats. So let's break that down to a year. An unaltered female can produce, again, three to four litters and have approximately up to four to six kittens in each litter. So that could mean four or six times three for one animal. But it's important to know that the sexual, the sexual maturity of a female and a male cat is four months of age. If they were to have their first litter at four months of age, think about how many litters they could have over a lifetime span of up to 20 years. That's a lot of kittens. And that's a lot of kittens who need homes. So it's our job to make sure that we're responsible pet owners. And if we are not having a breeding cat and selling offspring, then we should think about the population control for cats. All right, everybody. So we are getting ready to go drop Poyo off at the vet. As you guys can see, he's a little agitated and super friendly because he's very hungry, um, but he could not have food starting at 10 o'clock last night. Um, he's very food motivated, so he might be crying at the vet for a little bit until he goes in. All right, guys, so we'll keep you posted and we will see you after he is done getting fixed. So, one of Poyo's brothers got to his little carrier, which he loves, and now there is a slight hole in the top. So Poyo's new game is Pop Goes a Weasel, <laughs> but he's very good about going right back down. So this has been our morning so far. It's always an adventure going to the vet. So let's get into while Poyo is at the vet. While he was at the vet, we needed to make sure when he came home, he was calm and quiet. Now we know that's a little tricky because he's five months old and likes to bounce around. So what we did is we took care of his cat palace and we set up our animal room for him. This way he could have a little bit more space than his kennel to move around in the day after he comes home. So remember, it's our job to create a comfortable, safe environment only for them and it's very important that it's always clean. But especially when your animal has an opening in its body or a wound or has had a surgery because you don't want any bacteria to go in through. While Poyo's at the vet, we're cleaning his palace. All right, so while Poyo's at the vet, we have his bedding and his house in the washing machine. We have a clean litter box, and the next thing we're going to do is wipe down his tray with an antibacterial. Um, okay, so stay tuned for when Poyo gets home. Yay! So we just picked up Poyo from the vet. He is cleared with his anesthesia. He's had his pain meds, and we are getting ready to head home. So after surgery, after surgery, your animal's gonna be a little drowsy for a few hours. It's important that you don't feed them their normal amount of food because they can throw up. Typically, you feed them one third of the amount of food you would in one feeding. Poyo was very hungry, but he was good about limiting to one third that he usually had. We're gonna try to keep your kitten fairly quiet for one or two days to allow the internal wounds to heal. 
and most importantly, all the snuggles and love they can. An important fact to know is that once a cat has been neutered or spayed, there is a stronger tendency for them to become overweight. They'll wanna eat more, they might be less active. So what we have to do as pet owners to make sure that our cat is always healthy is to keep them within the proper weight. Make sure you always work with your vet to check the obesity scale which your animal may be on. Hopefully it's in the normal range. And if not, there's lots of different tips and tricks that you can work through. All right, everybody, so Pollo is home. He is with his favorite kids and he is recovering. I just want you guys to take a look at what the incision site kind of looks like. We have to check that every day to make sure that it's all right. Um, so there's no swelling. So he is on kind of lockdown and no jumping. So we have to try to keep him contained. As you can see, he does want to play and he's very cuddly. So what do you guys think? Are you guys happy Pollo's home? Yeah. Yeah, and also Pollo is a little bit heavy. Yeah, he it's is. Soft. <laughs> what the heck is wrong? All right, guys. So say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for joining us on Pollo's Adventure of Neutering. Remember, be a responsible pet owner. Catch you later.